is the ninth generation iPad the best value iPad for any price point? Stay tuned to find out. So let's talk about it. It's probably gonna become my sister's iPad because she's been looking for a budget iPad for drawing and things like that. And great for students. I got the silver version, 64 gigabytes. I'm generally a 12.9 inch iPad Pro user, so it'll be interesting to find out what it's like using the base model iPad that Apple makes. Going from the maxed out iPad Pro to the base model iPad. But I would say that the, I like the box of the iPad mini better. So check out that video. I'll have it linked in the video description. So, wow, it's bigger and smaller than I was expecting. But let's see. Yes, Apple stickers. Tell me what you do with your Apple stickers. I would be interested to find out if anybody actually does anything with them. And then 20 watt charging brick, the same one as in the, the new iPad mini. But this comes with a USB-C to lightning cable because USB-C all the things. But I guess if you're getting the budget iPad, it's probably a good idea to have that. But it would be nice to have them join the USB-C future. Funny thing, this will actually be my first iPad with a Touch ID home button because my previous iPad that wasn't a Face ID iPad didn't have Touch ID. So interesting thing. Is, and it has a headphone jack, something that even the most expensive iPad Pro doesn't have. So this might be amazing for podcasting and video editing, we'll have to see. It has a lightning port on the bottom and it doesn't have stereo speakers, which is kind of a bummer, but because that would be nice. But funny thing, the front facing camera is actually better than the rear facing camera, which is kind of funny. But it has, for your FaceTime calls and Zoom calls as a college student, it has center stage to track you and follow you around your thing. And when somebody comes in, it'll expand to have them in the frame too, because it has center stage, which is super exciting. It's no longer just a iPad Pro feature, so they're bringing it to the, the entire line. But as lightning, so you'll work with all your lightning accessories. So all your iPhone accessories will work pretty much, but it would be interesting to use it. It's not a laminated display and it doesn't have a camera bump, which is great for if you accidentally drop your iPad, not that you plan on dropping it, but if you're going caseless, you're less likely to break the camera lens. Where on like the new iPad Pro 12.9 inch has a big camera bump with a lighter sensor and all those things in it. That might be an issue if you drop it. And this is probably the one that most schools are gonna get. I'll have all the affiliate things we talked about linked in the video description. And don't forget to like and share because it really does help. And subscribe and tap the bell icon if you're interested in iPad content. And so check out one of these videos then.